Hey y'all, this is Joe again from St. Bernard Acres. Sitting here in my room in Wheeling. <laughs> um, couple of things I want to discuss in this video. Um, I want to touch a little bit on yesterday's video and the great reaction I had to that. <laughs> and I got a mail call. Um, something I've been wanting and he wants me to and I might touch on a couple other things. Uh, first off, yesterday's video about, you know, my inaugura inaugural vlog. And this being a sad day for America. Um, I lost about 60 subscribers, which is okay. I don't care. Got about 25, well, I don't know what the latest is. Um, it's funny. It, it's funny, but it's sad at the same time. Um, let's see where we are. Sorry, I didn't have everything up to date. 25 dislikes. And about 60 subscribers gone. Now... Now, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why that happened. Because those are people who didn't watch the video. They saw the title and automatically assumed that the video was about the fact that Joe Biden was being inaugurated made it a sad day. But it was just the opposite. You know, it, it that's not why... I thought it was a sad day in America's history. As I tried to explain, I don't care who won, I don't care who lost, it, that had no bearing on anything. Um, what made it sad is the fact that everything is locked out. Nobody can participate. Um, and we couldn't celebrate the inauguration of a new president um, we couldn't celebrate democracy in action because there have to be 12 foot walls now and fences with razor wire on them and you know no parade none of the festivities uh, none of the balls tonight I don't think um, and those were things that I believe other countries looked on with envy that we could do that and we and that's how you know America is that being said that's what I meant by a sad day um, what should be a very joyous day um, and a very fun day we've ended we can't have that anymore and yes I got long-winded like I always do None of my videos are scripted. I don't have anything written down. I just start rambling, you know. And when I'm rambling, a lot of times I'll say things meaning one thing, but they come out a different way. Maybe sarcasm, you know, I don't know. But the ones that unsubscribed real quick and, you know, left all the, the, the thumbs down, um, I know they didn't watch the videos because the video is 25 minutes long. The average view time on the video is eight minutes, a third of the video. These guys, I'm telling you what, they love some nasty comments too. I mean, fortunately I'm set up with, I've got a lot of words that are filtered and you know, if those words are used in the comment, it doesn't go public. I have to approve it. So, because I don't want, you know, my subscribers subjected to that kind of stuff. I don't do it. I don't, you know, participate in it. And, you know, I realize a lot of us, you know, don't have a problem with it. But some of us do, and I respect that. And I'm not going to allow my channel to go that direction. So I went through and deleted a bunch of the comments that couldn't even get out there. But, yeah. 
if you had watched it and given it a chance, you might not have been so quick. I got 850 other videos that evidently you liked, you know. But because I exercised my right and spoke my, you know, ideas, you know, my opinions on a few things, you know, suddenly you can't be a part of that. And it's okay. You know, the only one that, that really upset me in a way was some guy said, obviously you never served your country. Otherwise, you know, uh, you never served your country, so you need to shut up. And I'm telling you, I served my country, and I served my country so that everybody could have their opinions. You know, I subscribe to channels where people will do something that I don't agree with or say something that I don't agree with and I think is wrong. And I'll voice my opinion about it. I'll, you know, I'll object strongly in comments. I don't cuss or anything. I try to, you know, I show respect. But I don't tell them they're stupid. I don't thumbs down their video. I don't have to run and hide and unsubscribe because you feel this way about something. You know, you, you're an American, I assume, and you have the right to feel any way you want about something. Who am I to tell you that you can't feel that way? How narrow-minded and weak am I to say, I can't be associated with this channel because you feel this way? You know what, if you got good content, I don't care how you feel. If I can learn something from your channel, or I get entertained from your channel, awesome. That's all that matters, you know. The ones that got offended, the ones that had to run and hide, if you happen to see this video, you know. Sorry if it hurts your feelings. The only thing I can suggest is grow a pair and, you know, comment rationally watch the video and then decide if that's what you think it is because you saw the title and automatically assumed here's what he's going to talk about you know i'm not a biden supporter i'm not a trump supporter i said that the very first start i said i'm i didn't vote for either one of them you know i voted third party end of story i'm not a republican i'm not a democrat i'm an independent Libertarian, constitutionalist, American citizen. <laughs> you know, if you can't deal with that, if you're going to dislike my channel and hate my channel because that's my opinions on things, then fine, we don't need you here anyway. Enough of that. So, I kind of like this format. I like doing this because, you know, I love to talk. I love to talk about me. <laughs> um... Let me do this mail call real quick, because I'm anxious to see what's in this box. I don't know what it is. My first box, um, to my P.O. box, out of the cabin, out of St. Bernard Acres. I've got a couple of license plates in the P.O. box, but the first time I got the box, and it came from Amazon, and I don't know what's in it, so I'm anxious to find out what's in it. I don't know who sent it. Because it's just the Amazon label, you know, addressed to me out there. So let's see what we have. This is exciting. Okay, it's going to be difficult for you guys to see, but there's a white box. Here's some paperwork. A gift for you. Hi, Joe. Enjoy your gifts. Gifts? From Ronald. I'll leave it at that. One of the subscribers on YouTube. All right. Enjoy your gift from Ronald. And what it is. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, man, this is so cool. 
I've had this in my wish list for over a year now because I knew this was something I needed to do and it was going to be this year's project as far as for the prepping and homestead side of what I want to do out at St. Bernard Acres. There's something I've never done before and this year, one of this year's goals was to learn how to do this. So, what he sent me is the complete guide to pressure canning. How cool is that? Oh, man. I've been wanting this. Oh, meats? Yeah, definitely. Spaghetti sauce, meat sauce, white chicken chili. <laughs> oh, man. All these recipes and how to can them. Fish, steak, soups, tomato soups, onion, sausage, and bean soup. Oh, yeah. Going to have some fun with this. Stocks, broths, soups, soups and stews. <laughs> yeah. All right. All of these recipes to, to prepare them and can them. Corn, beets, jalapeno, Bloody Mary mix. <laughs> All right. Tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, Ronald, thank you, buddy. That is so odd. I need a pressure cooker. I'm going to have to run to Amazon now put a pressure cooker in my wish list. Oh, that's great. That is really great. And I think I know what's in the white box here. Because these are things that you need. Yep. All right. The jar tongs. Yep. Uh, I don't know yet, but I will figure out, I guess, another way to hold, lift the jars. I don't know. Funnel, tongs, <clears throat> oh, the magnet to pick up the lids with, and the little spatula. Okay, that is totally awesome, man. Holy crap, yes. I can't wait to learn this. I'm so excited to uh, get to do this. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, because I am going to have a much bigger garden and a lot more variety garden this year. Because I'm not working and I have plenty of time to do it. So, Ronald, thank you, buddy. That is just way better than I'd hoped. Uh, and I know when I came in with it, Max thought it was something for him because he's gotten, you know, treats and toys and stuff from people before. Uh, so <laughs> Max thought he got another box. All right, that's just cool. I'm so happy with that. Uh, really nice, everybody. And it will be put to very good use. Uh, no doubt about that. So, get a drink. One other thing I wanted to mention. There's a, a bunch of videos on YouTube. Imagine that. But they're uh, music reaction videos. Um, they play a, a, a song that they've never heard before, and they react to it. 
and there's tons of them. Well, lately I have fallen down the rabbit hole of those videos. And there are some very good ones. Um, and they're, for me, they're a lot of fun to watch, especially when, you know, it's these young people that have only been exposed to hip hop or rap, you know, that's what they, all they know. Well, their subscribers recommend songs for them to do a reaction to. And they, you know, the songs they do from the 70s and the 80s, you know, the 60s, it's great to watch them. Um, there are certain songs, if you think about it, if you're my age, then you know how certain songs made you feel the first time you heard it. And you never got to feel that again or experience that again. Well, it's almost like you can now because you're watching somebody else um, experience that and hear that for the first time. And the honest ones, you get their honest reaction and it's just, it's a lot of fun to watch those. Um, my favorite thus far, speaking of, you know, you experience it, you don't just listen to it for the first time, but you can only experience it the first time. Um, Pig Floyd, Comfortably Numb. You, you see this, and the live version of it from Pulse is, I think that's probably, it's definitely one of the best live rock performances of all time. And it's definitely the greatest live guitar solo of all time. And I've watched these people react, their reactions to it, and you see them sitting there. And if you know the song, you know how it takes you through all these emotions. And you see these people experience that. Um, you see tears, you see this utter shock um, of how good this stuff is. Um, Simon and Garfunkel, Bridge Over Turbo Waters. That's another one that, you know, the reactions, you know, uh, Roberta Flack. Oh, geez, just so many Creedence Clearwater Revival. Those are white guys? <laughs> you know, I mean, some of the stuff you hear. Uh, I watched one with uh, Wild Cherry, play that funk music, you know. Uh, it, it's like... It, they they kind of know the songs, uh, but they don't know. You know, they've never seen who does it. They don't know the whole song. They know parts of it that have been sampled on you know rap albums and stuff. You know, stuff like that. Uh, Linda Ronstadt, they go crazy over. Dolly Parton, you know, uh, Janice Ian at seventeen. They the the the. The way people reacted in 76 when she came out with that is the same way people react to it today who never heard it before. And one of the things that does, what I like watching them for, number one, is just, you know, you, you, you see all the recommended ones. And you see these songs, it's like, oh, wow, I haven't heard that for a long time. And you click on it to... You not only get the reaction, but you get to hear your song again, you know. Uh, but what it makes me realize at my age, you know, and the fact that I grew up in the 70s, you know, how great our music was. You know, it, it's just incredibly good music. No auto tunes, no computers, no, you know, it was just talent. And you could, you know, I talked about Janice Ian, Linda Ronstadt, um, uh, Roberta Flack, 
you didn't just hear the song or hear the music. You felt it. They, uh, you know, some of those songs would just hit you right in the face. and say, You know, you listened. So it just reminds me of how great our music was and how we had to make it. Um, back in Houston in the uh, late 70s, I played guitar, played country music. And there was a A-Side Recording Studios in Houston, Texas. And it, it was, you know, a recording studio. It had, I, think, I think we had a 24-track mixing board. And there was no computers, none of that kind of stuff. You had two giant speakers you'd go deaf with, and, you know, all the manual controls, the sliders that you would adjust until you got the sound of each you know, track the way you wanted it. And that mixing board would be full of, you know, spilled whiskey, <laughs> drinks, and pot seeds, you know. Uh, but we would go in, and I think it was f for $500, you got three hours of studio time. You got the master tape mixed. Then it was sent to Austin to a place that pressed the vinyl. <laughs> I think you got like 2,045 RPMs. So you could do two songs. And, you know, side A and side B. You get 2,000 copies of it. And what you would do with those 2,000 copies, number one, you would try to get radio stations to play them. You would try to get clubs or bars, because we did country music, so a lot of our stuff was bars. Try to get them to put it in the jukebox for people. Um, and at your shows, you know, you would have somebody there that would sell the, you know, for $2, you get the, the 45 to help support the band. Um, but that the way, that's the way music was done back then. And... Everybody did it like that. The big stars, the new guy. I mean, because that's all we had, you know. Um, and like I said, it's good to see young people have an appreciation for that the way we did. And <coughs> it's like we get to hear it all over again. And it's pretty cool. But definitely check out Pink Floyd, Comfortably Numb. Pulse, I think it was 96 at that concert. David Gilmore. I think what happened, Leo Fender gave us the Stratocaster guitar. God gave that guitar David Gilmore. I'm telling you. The guy, just the guitar solo will take you on an emotion, emotional roller coaster ride. Just listening to that. So, my recommendations. I'm not going to do reaction videos. But let me know how you react to reaction videos. I love them. I just, I can sit there for an hour, two hours, clicking different ones. And I'll see, what, oh, yeah, that song. Oh, yeah, that person. And click on it, you know. And listen to what these young people say about it. Uh, and it'll remind you of how you felt back then um, when you were hearing them. So, that's all. I just, you know, know these chat videos. I'm sitting around. It's winter time. I'm not doing anything, <laughs> you know. So, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you enjoy this format. I kind of like doing this. Just freewheeling, you know. Um, which, again, great Bob Dylan album, freewheeling. Um I hope you like this, because I'm, I'm going to, as I get used to this, this is the setup I'm going to use to do live streams. And as soon as I figure out a day, I'm going to do one. And it's just going to be a random question and answer thing. You ask each other questions, I don't care. Ask me questions. If I see them, you know, I'll call it out and I'll answer questions. Um... 
We'll tell some stories, tell some jokes. We'll just hang out for an hour. And it ought to be pretty fun. Um, if, <laughs> you know, if all goes well. <laughs> but uh, this is going to be coming up real soon. I got the software. Now I got to do a, a test one. You know, once I figure out how it all works, then I can go live and, and actually try to do one. So if you guys want to see that, let me know that too. If you're interested in being a part of that, uh, for sure, let me know. But again, this is Joe from St. Bernard Acres. Uh, I hope you like this video. I hope you don't dislike it as many times as yesterday's video. But uh, anyway, I hope you like this. Um, remember, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Let me get my people back. <laughs> Bring my people back to me. Um, but that's about it. Uh, in the description, again, there's uh, my P.O. box now for out at, you know, St. Bernard Acres. Uh, my Amazon wish list. Somebody actually went to my wish list. So before you go look, give me a few minutes to go put a pressure cooker on there in case somebody wants to spring for a pressure cooker for me. Um, but yeah, and I'm still working on my merchandise stuff. Uh, I heard from a couple people who bought, you know, a, a Max on a in the St. Bernard Acres logo. You know, a, a hoodie and long sleeve t-shirt and they love them so thank you for buying those I mean I've that helps too I mean you know, I the, you know the whole idea behind this now is you know try to earn some money so I can build <laughs> out in the barn if you bought lumber lately you know why I need help uh, but yeah this is a lot of fun I like doing it this way I hope you guys like it. If you can think of a different way for me to do it, or if you don't even like me doing it, tell me. I won't do it this way anymore. But, yeah, let's have some fun. Uh, this is Wednesday, January 20th, Inauguration Day. Anyway, I'm out of here. Thank you all so much for watching.